What's up guys, David, or one, two, and two, and it's list day. IS list day, and today we're gonna be doing the top five best Easter cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Being that I was born and raised a Roman Catholic, Easter holds a special place in my heart because it's basically Christmas to Electric Boogaloo for us. I may not exactly practice any of that stuff anymore, but uh, at least Easter itself, grandma's house and, and roasts and things like that. So you know what? I love Easter, It's it's nostalgic. However, uh, because this is Yu-Gi-Oh! and this is a, a public forum, we're gonna keep it to secular Easter. So it's Easter baskets and bunnies. It, it is. We're just doing a, a fun video this week because Amanda just got her second jab for the, the the vaccine. So she's feeling pretty pretty poopy. So I need to go be go be Wonder Boyfriend and and not be doing this. So <laughs> gotta do some bullshit instead. And without further ado. The, the 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 top five Easter gimmick cards. Here we go. Number five, Jerry Beans Man. Jerry Beans Man is a big level three beat stick. 1750 attack on a level three earth. What is this thing? A plant? Of course it's a plant. It's a bean. But with zero defense. Because otherwise it'd be a level four, I guess. What makes this thing an Easter card? I suppose uh jelly beans. It's jelly beans. I know his flavor text says that his name is Jerry, but I can't help but wonder if this is a weird jab at like Japanese people pronouncing jelly as Jerry. Is that, is that racist? Potentially uncomfortable translation in the TCG aside, I like Jerry Beans, man. He seems like a happy guy. <laughs> Number four, marshmallow. What's marshmallow? Basically a peep. And you know what a peep is? Tommy. How's the peeping? Tommy. How's the peeping? But, well, besides that, it's those uh, disgusting uh, orange or yellow little bunnies and chicks marshmallow sugar things. They like never go bad. Uh, they're <laughs> forever stale out of the box regardless of when you bought them. And uh, like that, marshmallow never goes bad either. He can't be killed by Val. <laughs> he also... Uh, burns your opponent uh, if he was flipped up when he was attacked. So for like a thousand damage, that's that's cheesy. Just like peeps cut the roof of your mouth, <laughs> I guess. Good memories with the marshmallow. Uh, it was like beginning of Lynx uh, in Master Rule 4 when we got the first starter deck that introduced the Lynx to the game. I went to locals to get one and they did like a tournament and it was a sealed tournament with just the starter deck. Marshmallow was the VIP of the entire tournament. The, the deck didn't have a very good out to it. So when you just had only the cards in the starter deck, you got you got to stuck with it. It was such a slog of a tournament. Oh my god. I'll see if I can find the uh the find the picture. Tommy. How's the peeping? Tommy. How's the peeping? <laughs> Anyway, next one. Number three is cockadoodle doo because it's chicken. Easter chicks. This one's a bit rough. That's terrible. However, it's an effect monster, so I can actually talk about something, so that's a plus. Cockadoodle doo is a level five wind winged beast tuner monster. Oh, it must be time to feed the cat. Shit filming this at like night which is unusual for me <laughs> new camera by the way i can actually see myself filming so that's cool Fucking idiot but uh cockadoodle doo is a tuner it's level five uh, if there's no monsters on the field you can just special summon it but it becomes level three i think yes i made my script bigger so i don't make errors at least less of them and if your component controls a monster but you don't have anything on your board you can special summon it and it becomes level four what i think it's cool is uh it's got a cyber dragon like summoning condition which is fun and it modulates its level to three or four depending on the uh the scenario in the field it lets you go first or second and then change your play lines accordingly which is frankly really cool card design why don't we get more stuff like this branching play lines are fun i i'm terrible with them but they are fun it's like how gamble cards should be. Instead of one good option, one bad option, it should be a coin flip between two good or something. We don't get more stuff like this. Uh, it's a damn shame. Tenuous Easter relation aside. Number two is Melfi Rabby. Melfi Rabby looks like the kind of little Easter bunny plush toy you'd get in your Easter basket. Now, uh, this might be a bit of a, a selfish pick. Uh... 
when I was going through the list trying to figure out what rabbit to stick on here because Easter Bunny, uh, Amanda and I may have decided to pick Melfi Rabby uh, out of a bit of a personal bias because the deck is a lot of fun to play. It was a it was a really good close second with uh, with Vanilla here. <laughs> Bunny ice. ice ice bunny and they're basically the same thing just a just a, a big vanilla defender <laughs> bunny thick though and we got an honorable mention powerful rebirth i know i was gonna keep this a secular easter but i couldn't resist making a joke and uh this is somehow the least offensive one i could find while still having the title seem kind of relevant to the subject matter cue some stupid graphic i'll i'll have ryan cook up take that as you will And we do have a sponsor for this absolutely ridiculous video. My friends over at Your Playmat, not like Your Playmat, like the company's name is Your Playmat, sent me some of these awesome custom card sleeves. They are not that like slick, shiny, like sharp edged, cheap thing that you get with like uh, like the, the Konami brand one with like, you know, you, what you get with like uh, starter decks and things like that. Like the, the, the blue eyes ones or whatever. They feel much more akin to like an ultra pro or a dragon sleeve with a bit of a, a texture on the back of them and stuff. But yet you can get your own printed picture on them, which is, uh, this is, that's not, it's not, it's not even a pitch. That's just really cool. <laughs> so use uh, my promo code, davidator 12110yp uh, here, link in the description below, and you can get a, uh, get a little discount on these bad boys, and you get to pick your image. They also have some cool stock ones too, so, you know, but check them out. Like, like they're, they're actually legitimately really cool. In number one, the best Easter card ever printed in Yu-Gi-Oh, if the measuring stick you're using is the most Easter-ish, Token Sunday, because Easter is on a Sunday. Now, before you say, But Dave, that's how you spell Sunday with for like ice cream, not the day of the week. Yeah, I, I know that, but like, look at the artwork. They're eating scapegoat Easter eggs. It's literally Easter on the card. The Sunday is a pun because there. I, I think that the mound of scapegoats is supposed to look like an ice cream Sunday. It's a. It's a joke. It's a. It's a visual and, and verbal pun. It's not a very good spell card though. It like. It like what kills all the tokens you got. Yeah, and then destroys cards up on the field up to the number of tokens you blew up. Uh, it's okay. You're probably better off playing like Regeki. Even if you're playing like a, a weird token spam control deck like Hippo TK, you don't really want to blow up your own crap. Uh, so I don't, I don't know, but hey, it's, it's the most Easter. And if you guys are, if you want to argue with me about it, uh, we have O Token Bomb, which is Christmas and, uh, Token Thanksgiving, which is, which is Thanksgiving. And then there's Token Festival, which is like generic, I guess. So apparently these goblins just eat tokens on various holidays. Uh, who are, who, who, who are we to judge, uh, the customs of others? <laughs> What? What is this video? <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I hope this footage is good because like this camera is complicated and I don't know what I'm doing. The autofocus appears to be working though. Ooh, look, I can, I can track my head. That's cool. You guys can't see any of this because it's just the footage, not the... <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, what is my motto again? Oh, right. If you don't troll the meta, who will? I'm gonna go to sleep. I am exhausted. Just a quick special thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys make the whole channel possible. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys do that. If you guys want to be part of the Goblet Attack Force, link for the Patreon down in the description below. Heh. <laughs> Clicking the subscribe button's a good move. I guess there's a first time for everything. Feel free to click on these third-rate videos from a fourth-rate Yugi tuber. But I don't have time for such amateurs. Come on, Mokuba, let's go get ice cream.